Good day everyone and welcome back to Larry's Fishing. Today I'm in Subway. No, not introducing a new fish sandwich. I'm here to do a fishing tip. Uh, winter's here and we have two problems. One, the fishing's slow. Two, the weather. And today it's the weather. It is cold, windy, and rainy and it is only 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get out. So today's video is going to be a tip. And I did some of these videos last winter and had, had some good success with them. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a few more this winter. And uh, this one has to do with baiting a circle hook. So as most of you know, I use circle hooks almost exclusively. And the reason being is I do catch and release. And with the circle hook and the way it's designed, with the little knob that goes in there, uh, it's much harder for the fish to swallow. Um, over the last two years, I probably count on one hand the number of times I've had to uh, either cut the line or take a fish home because I haven't been able to get the hook out. Uh, most of the time when you catch a fish with a circle hook, you'll catch it in the jaw because it catches itself. But one of the questions I get asked quite a bit is how I put cheese on a, on a circle hook. And I'm going to explain that here. Okay, so step number one is you get a block of cheese. You don't use the cube cheese because the cube cheese doesn't fit on a circle hook correctly. So you need to get a block of cheese. All we're going to do is cut lengthwise. go. I'm just going to do a couple just to show this real quick. So after you, I've got two here, cut those in half. Like so. And now when you cut these, you want them to be more of a rectangular shape and not square. So just a little bit longer A more, little bit more like a rectangle than a square and I'll show you the reason for that in just a second. Okay, so that's it. So there we have it. So it looks it's just a little bit longer on one side than the other. As I said, so it looks like a rectangle and not a square. Now the reason the rectangle and not the square is this. So you got the circle hook, about a third of the way through the cheese, put it through, just wrap it around and then twist. And the reason you want the rectangle, the little longer end, is so that you can place that end piece of cheese back through the hook. So it looks like that. Now I've done a bit of fishing here in Denny over the last three years and use cheese quite a bit. And I have found that this has been more successful for me than any other way. Now I know a lot of people, when using it, now I know a lot of people when they use a J-hook, they like to have to heat the cheese just hang straight down, which is fine. Um, and it works, but I have found that if you have that two connection to the hook, the cheese connected twice, and it's still at an angle, well you can see, to get that cheese they've got to take the whole hook. Whereas if it's just hanging down, if they nibble that bottom part off or grab that bottom part and pull, you're not getting the fish. The reason I don't use cube cheese is because it will not fit in that gap. If you cut cube cheese in half, um, it just doesn't keep that, that firm foundation. It comes off the hook much easier. So I found if you get a block of cheese and cut it yourself, it works much better. I hope this tip helps. I hope you catch more cod using this. Maybe a couple of carp now and then. But uh, until next time, keep fishing.